This video is going to show how to view saved measurements and traces from previous simulations in ORCAD PSPICE. Open the provided design in ORCAD PSPICE Designer. Select PSPICE Run from the menu or click the Run button on the toolbar. View the result window. The simulation plot is blank as there are no probes placed in the schematic nor are there any trace expressions added to the plot. Select Trace, Add Trace from the menu. From the Simulation Output Variables list, select IL2 and ID2. Click OK. The traces have been added to the simulation plot. Select View, Measurement Results from the menu. This will open the Measurement Results pane. Select Click here to evaluate a new measurement to open the Evaluate Measurement window. From the Functions or Macros drop-down, select Measurements. Select Max. From the Simulation Output Variables list, select IL2. Click OK. The trace expression has been added. Select Click here to evaluate a new measurement again to add a new measurement. From the Functions or Macros drop-down, select Measurements. Select Max. From the Simulation Output Variables list, select ID2. Click OK. The trace expression has been added. Select Simulation Edit Profile from the menu or the Edit Simulation Settings button from the sidebar. Select Probe Window from the menu on the left. Select Last Plot under Show. Click OK. Close out of the simulation. Double click on the value of VS1 to change it. Set the value to 12 volts DC and click OK. Select PSPICE Run from the menu or the Run button on the toolbar. View the results. The same trace expressions, IL2 and ID2, have been automatically added to the plot. To create a template containing the current display settings and measurements to be applied to future simulations, select Window Display Control from the menu. The Display Control window will open. Enter Max IL ID as the name and select Save To. Select Other File and click B to browse. Browse to a location to save the file. Name the file Max IL ID and select Open. Click OK. Select Close to close the display control window and close out of the simulation. Back in the schematic, close out of the project. Select No to All when prompted. Select File, Open, Demo Designs from the menu. Scroll down and select Buck Converter. Click Open. Select PSPICE Run from the menu or the Run button on the toolbar. In the Simulation window, select Window Display Control. In the Display Control window, select Load. Browse to the saved maxilid.prb file and select it. Select Open. Select the maxilid entry added to the display list and click Restore. View the results. MaxIL2 and MaxID2 have been added to the measurement results pane, and IL2 and ID2 have been added as traces. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.ema-eda.com, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.